My name is Todd Frederick. Uh, I work for Primco Incorporated. We're a bridge contractor. Two years ago we celebrated our 50th anniversary, so we're in our second generation. We have grown from a bridge crew company to a road and bridge, and we do foundation work, sheeting work, piling, and concrete road building. We do the state highway, which is federally funded along with state mo monies, and then we do state roads, and then we do county roads, and we do city roads and bridges. We do a little bit of private subdivisions, the curb and gutters, and that type of stuff. So, majority it's all government work. We've always had the, the standard 210s or that 200 series size or the 45,000 pound class excavator. And, and where you're not tight or you can't, we run them all day long. There's more room to get on to them, to service them. Our true reconstruct, we're totally rebuilding a bridge and not on a, on a just a cosmetic type bridge job. Totally coming out and putting back in, we put the bigger, we'll put a 210 in when there's more room. So if we buy a 200 size excavator, whether it's a 210 or a 245, we'll put a thumb on it, we'll put a, a coupler system on it, and we will outfit it with all the hydraulics to run all those pieces. So we don't have to worry about moving special ones around. I will tell you that if you talk to any of my guys, they're going to tell you that a 145 and a 245 are the best bridge building excavators in the market today. Less tail swing, we get into confined spaces on jobs, we have single lanes, we can't swing over the top of the barrier wall because you got traffic on one side of it and you're constructing on the other side of the barrier wall. I keep thinking that everything will go to the you know, zero tail swing and everything in the future. We have a lot of high quality people as probably invested as much as we do in the people as we do the equipment. And if we invest in good equipment, it takes care of the good people. I feel like today that RPM has the support of corporate. I truly can say that it's been the longest and the best relationship with the dealership and with the corporate conversations and solving and looking at opportunities for change. That's been a, been a long-standing part of it for us. It's helped us have a comfort level.